Welcome to Bobbin Talk. Hello and welcome to Bobbin Talk. In this video, I will show you how to create puffy elements with pressure. Think of the winter jackets that have the puffy filler inside. The logic is kind of the same. We need an outer layer and an inner layer, and we will create different pressure for the outer and the inner layer. So I already have all of my pattern pieces. I will apply pressure onto various parts of the jacket. Let's take a look at the 2D window. It is really important to have good organization when you're creating this. I like to have a lot of space because we will be creating top layer and an under layer. Well, the top layer is the one that we have right now, but we will be creating an under layer. So I'm gonna space out my pattern pieces depending on how and where I would like to create the puffy elements. Now, if you need some kind of a special design element, not just puffiness, you would need to create the internal lines ahead of time. If you wanna just puff it up, then it makes no difference. Right now, I wanna create some horizontal stripes on my back um, and my pieces are actually separated. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge these two pattern pieces. I'm going to select the two lines that I want to merge and right click and click merge. And I'll do the same for the bottom part. I'll just, it will be easier for me to um, apply the pressure. Now notice also that some of my pattern pieces have a light blue outline. And this one, after I merged it, does not have that anymore. This means that these two pattern pieces are linked with editing. So whatever you do on this pattern piece, it will automatically appear on the other one. So if you wanted to create some kind of a design element like stripe or something, make sure that if you want asymmetric design, you can right click on the pattern pieces, make sure that you're in pattern selection, right click on the pattern pieces and remove linked editing. And opposite, if you want to have the same exact design, make sure that these two or whatever two, pattern, two patterns you want are linked with editing. Now back to our back pattern piece. I want to create just some horizontal stripes. The easiest way to do that is select the edit pattern tool, right click. Actually, I don't need this middle point, so I'm going to delete that point so it doesn't interfere. I'll keep this one up there for now. So I need just one straight line, right click on that line and select offset as internal line. So the distance is the distance in between the lines, the internal lines. Number of offsets is how many lines. So right now I have eight and you can see that I'm kind of reaching to the armhole, but not all the way up. So I'm going to move the window here and I'll select more lines and you can see them popping up and appearing here. And 12, 13 is better. If you're not happy with this layout, you can change the distance, for example. And if you click, it jumps with one inch. So if you want to have a particular distance, like let's say 1.5, you can select that. And as soon as you click, enter or return it appears already so that's not what I want so I'm gonna right click again offset is internal line make sure you don't click return because it will apply so I am actually happy with two inch distance I have to delete this type 2 and 13 lines is just enough you can see that the last line is up there make sure you're happy with everything and if you don't if you wanted a different direction See how when I click reverse, they're outside. Extend puts them inside. So I'm happy with the layout. Click OK. So these are my internal lines. Now, whatever design you need, you have to create it before you create the clone layer. Now, here comes the fun part. So this is too far out. I'm going to bring it closer. I'm going to select this whole pattern piece, right click on it and then choose layer clone under. So I'm creating the under layer and there's a shortcut here. When I release the mouse, I have it in my hand and I like to place it underneath because that is easy for me to remember that this layer is underneath or the under layer. Okay, we're ready to apply pressure. Come to property editor 
and look for simulation properties under it is pressure so for the top layer the pressure should be a positive number so let's say plus uh, 30 for example click return for the under layer we want to generally put the same number of pressure but with a minus so minus 30 and you can experiment with different numbers and see what works best for you now let's take a look at our avatar you can already see that the lines are here i'm going to put her in a three-quarter view a little bit so you can see and i'm going to click simulate or the space bar and you can see the puffiness appear so this is already simulated i'm going to stop the simulation and you can see the puffiness appear if you don't want to see the internal lines or if maybe you want to see the internal lines then you can come here to the t-shirt and select show internal lines or deselect it so you don't see them and you can see that this is a little bit of pressure it's just 30 if you want to have more pressure then you can change that number under property editor now let's create something with a different design let's come to the front and again our pattern pieces are linked with editing i know that because they're outlined in light blue and if i want to create asymmetric design i would have to select the pattern pieces that i want to remove the linked editing right click on either one of them and look for remove linked editing left click on that and now these two particular pattern pieces if i zoom in you can see that they do not have that thick blue outline anymore so now i'm going to create a little bit of a puffy design just on one side come to internal lines maybe you want to work with one of the presets like an ellipse or a rectangle so i'm going to come on one side and i'm going to just create a couple of circular designs nothing specific that i had in mind i just want to show you what this would look like so you can see that this is only on one side not on the other so that design will appear as puffy element only on one side so if you don't want to create puffiness on this side you can create only this pattern piece i want to show you what it looks like if there is internal line design and if there isn't so i'm going to select both pattern pieces by clicking on one hold shift select the other one right click on either one of them layer clone under i have the two pattern pieces in my hands i'm going to place them underneath and i'm going to go through the same process my property editor disappeared do not fret come down here to the right side click on the reset layout that will bring all the windows you don't need all of them i'm going to close the library and i'm going to also close the object browser i'd like to see more options here now for the bottom piece is selected so i know that needs a negative number i'm going to click minus 50 this time then select the top two pieces and come here to pressure and input the same number but positive then let's take a look in the 3d window click on simulate and watch the puffiness appear so you can see the puffiness really puff up here and it is not very attractive with the 50 and you can see it much mellower here because we do have the internal lines i do not like that much pressure for these two elements so i'm gonna actually deselect this and give it a smaller number let's try 20 and minus 20 for the under and then click simulate again and see what this looks like and you can see that it's becoming smaller less pressurized And you can see that when there is no design or any kind of internal lines, we just get a puffiness, general puffiness with the shape here. 
let's create one more thing on let's say on our sleeves so come to internal lines and let's just create a freeform design So this will be a freeform design and it is on both sleeves. If you don't want to puff up the whole sleeve then you can select just the pattern pieces that you want to puff up. So I'm just going to go for this upper piece without the cuff. Right click, select clone under, create the two pattern pieces, left click to layer them and position them underneath. Go to property editor for the these two pattern pieces. Let's give them minus 30. And for the other two pattern pieces, let's give the upper layer will be plus 30. Click OK. Let's close these windows and go to the 3D window so we have a better view. And click simulate and you can see the puffy elements appear. Now, if you would like to see more detail here, you might want to go into particle distance that is a lower number. I'm going to select all of my pattern pieces, go under simulation properties, and go for particle distance that is 10, something that is lower than 20. and then simulate again so I can see a bit more details. And you can see that this is now more pronounced. My lines here are more visible and these designs here are now more visible. Oh, feel free to play around. You can add any kind of design shapes that you like. You can work with the geometric shapes or freeform lines and create your own puffy design elements. If you like what you saw in this video, if you learned something, please like the video. Feel free to leave any comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. And please subscribe to Bobbin Talk so you don't miss any of the new videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching.